It was December 24th, the day my family lovingly calls Polish Christmas Eve. To us, this day is more meaningful than Christmas Day itself. Every year, my entire family gathers at my grandmother's house. She lives in a duplex on the opposite side of town, and honestly, it is much too small for all of us to gather there. But we do it anyway, because we love it and we love her. My grandma, who we affectionately call Glow Glow, a nickname for Gloria, is one of the most wonderful people in the world. She would do anything for her family. When it comes to Polish Christmas Eve, she spends money she does not have, despite our attempts to interfere or help her out, because she wants to do everything she can to make us happy. The celebration of Polish Christmas Eve begins about a week before, when she invites my cousins and their friends over to make the delicious potato-filled delicacy pierogi. My cousin's boyfriend, Adam, was in charge of rolling the dough last year. Though he tried his best, the dough turned out way too thick, making the pierogi hard to chew. Needless to say, he will never be in charge of dough again. A few days after pierogi making, Glow Glow invites my brother, our friends, and I over to make desserts for the celebration. We listen to Christmas music and start baking for the big day. Last year, we made sugar cookies. Though they ended up a bit more crisp than intended, they tasted incredible. Incredible and were definitely a hit. For friends and grandchildren alike, these preparation days are some of the most anticipated events over the holidays. Then finally comes December 24th, the highly awaited Polish Christmas Eve celebration. We all gather at Globlo's house with more food than any of us could possibly ever finish. For starters, we all eat pierogi, which is for sure a favorite amongst everyone, except for my brother, who would much prefer his potatoes in the form of McDonald's french fries. Then we break a putki, a traditional Polish wafer, and share fond memories of everyone in the room. We also typically have performances from all of the grandchildren, but we skipped over that this past year. Finally, we open presents, exchange goodbyes, and head home to get a good night's sleep before Christmas Day. My grandma always stays the night in the house of one set of grandchildren, rotating between the two sets each year. Christmas Eve is by far my favorite day of the year, and because of my grandmother, I have so many incredible lifelong memories surrounding it.